It is December 1st at approximately 5.20 PST. We're going to keep saying that. Here's proof right here, right here, right here, right here. Or it's, it's, uh... Anyhow, hi guys. Welcome. We are here. I know, Dan, get it together. Dan I've got it like, together. No. What are you talking about, get it together? No, it's not. It's not happening. Hello, happy What's Friday the 1st. It is happy Friday, Friday night, date night, Saturday or Friday evening. This is our date night date with night. you guys, with all of our friends. Aren't you so lucky? Hello from <laughs> Sheffield in the UK and New York. It's a little later there in New York. Good evening, Joanne. Hello in Oklahoma. Hello from Kenya in Africa. <laughs> oh, free spirit. I'm not drunk yet. This is only my first drink. Yeah. Hi, Kathy. Is it frozen? Yike, Rooney's. Bonjour. What's Chantal, frozen? comment ça va? What's frozen? Hello from San Francisco. Are you guys cold? Are you froggy? Because it's cold here. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. Are you raining? Hi, Audrey. I saw you gave me another email. I haven't gotten to that yet. This afternoon was kind of crazy. The hey, whiteboard uh, is not here because the can the channel was banned, but I will continue to repeat the date. Does my dad have a high IQ? I think it was above average. I don't know what his IQ would be. I almost called you Pecker, Heidi. I almost said, hey, Pecker. <laughs> That's gotta be your new name now. Hi, Pecker. <laughs> the Judy is cold in oh, San Jose. God. I you need that. me. I need you guys more than you know. Well, I've been just blah. That Mr. and Mrs. D. Sal nor Cal. Uh, Grandpa's right out there. Um, channel was. Um, it's no longer on, so it's nothing to worry about right now. Well, he's got other accounts going. How do you know it's a he? Do we ever fight about your dad? Yes, yes so we do. Sometimes. Yes. Not like the way you probably think, but over food. Over. Sometimes we get mad at each other for saying stupid things to him. Like, remember dad, I just told you that five seconds ago. Or when I get triggered and I say, don't feed the dog, but we know he's going to feed the dog. We kind of sometimes fight over that shit. But it's like, let me do my thing. Anyhow, yeah, we bickering, just bickers, bicker, uh, bicker. We did not grow up in Elk Grove, neither of us. Um, good evening from Virginia. Virginia. Let's go Mountaineers. Oh, the West Virginia thing. Um, your wife oh. won't leave you alone after you started manscaping. Isn't that a good thing, ML? Yes, Lori, I'm here. I hate, I would hate it too, Audrey. And I don't grow up. Hi, 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 well, Grandpa's eating dinner right now, I believe. Well, no, he's not. Not yet. He's not, he's not sitting there yet? He's not. Uh, so he will get All up. of a sudden, he's like... He's been bugging us for dinner, and the minute we have it ready, he's on mellow. the couch. Yeah. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Muy bien. Hello, everybody. I can see your message, Chantel. Hey, Dave from North Carolina. How's what's going on in North Carolina? Danielle, Dan, who got Washington or Oregon? Who you got? Um, I, I you know, I, I don't Happy care. Birthday to Which your wife, Oregon Connor? is it the, the the beavers or the ducks? But I don't. Hi, Jelly Bean. Did four miles on the treadmill today. Shut the front door, Goodman. You did not. Good for you. I'm proud of you. Were you eating pickle chips while you were doing it? Mm -mm, I hope not. What is our favorite thing to do as a family? Nothing. You mean your favorite thing is to do nothing or you don't want to do anything with the family? Um, when um, the... <laughs> Neuralink. Here's I'm the gonna problem. send my dad to Elon. When we're with the my family of five, <laughs> it's not the most pleasant thing because what happens is Jan and Jennifer fight the whole time, so it's no bueno. I mean that, that's three years ago, but it still happens. It doesn't happen anymore. How are the diesels going down? What's well, a diesel? Hello, Angie. Okay, now you guys have to be patient. You're tonight. annoying Granny again, gamer Granny, and she's a gamer. I is mean, she you a cannot Grammy? ignore. She's a Grammy and oh, a gamer. A Grammy. I gotta respect that. Oh, uh, you. I was just gonna say, you guys have to be patient because there's a lot going uh, yeah, on. Yeah, we're Hi, not. Dad. I'm trying to read everything. Do we? Uh, I don't. Stuart, I'm not a big, I like heavy metal. 
Jinx, you buy you buy me. I, I'm not a big heavy metal guy. I love well, like heavy metal meaning what? Does anybody? I, mean, I like Van Halen. Does anybody listen to Metallica? That's not heavy metal, yeah, right? That's not my stuff. Is I like Metallica, but I don't think that's like heavy metal. It's like what's heavy metal? Anybody listen to Papa Roach? Everyone loves the pig, even Grandpa. Grandpa, the pig Winnie. loves Grandpa too. Why is Winnie Kitty in? Because Winnie uh, Kitty. Yeah, Winnie Kitty's in. Tool. It's cold out. Yeah. That's why. What, what Tool? I don't listen to Tool. I love Metallica. Um, I like like Black Sabbath. Is that heavy metal? Pantera. Thank you. Pantera is. I was thinking about Slayer. Yeah, no, not into Van that. Van Morrison's awesome. Brown Eyed Girl. That's not. I know. I'm just saying. I like Van Morrison. I'm sorry if I misspoke. Oh no, Joel. Um, Megadeth. Don't listen to Megadeth, but that's a good one, Eileen. Have you been to their concert? <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me if you did. Um, I have friends who love Tool. Rush is not heavy metal. Papa Roach came from Sacramento. I love Papa Roach. And we saw him at games, Hello, at our kids' games, Andrew's game. Yep. Because he has a kid, my my son's age, and they, play, they played lacrosse, lacrosse. And Hold so on. Papa Roach would show uh, up at the field. Fact check before you s assume I'm sipping wine. Assumptions get you nowhere in life. What assumptions you get you, you nowhere in life it just happens to be a wine glass but don't assume assume gets you nowhere Is slipknot it? yes andrew likes slipknot i i don't acdc yeah it's a martini not wine. yeah so get it straight fact check this is the problem with you guys you can you guess assume. what i'm drinking yeah can you tell As assuming tgif it is so not heavy metal um assumptions are ugly oh, right? the doobies were i love the doobies <sighs> I mean, that's classic 70s rock. Hi, Jackie. Not that long. You didn't miss much. Mm -mm. Uh, what problem, Cheryl? Iron Maiden. You know, the, the, the great, the, I do love, um, you guys heard Weedus, Teenage Dirt Bag? A Teenage Dirt Bag, like the definition. That song Coffee. came from the 80s, yeah. you know? I'm just a teenage dirt bag, baby. That's good. I like that. Assume. A teenage equals dirt bag. Equals ass out of you and me. Was like heavy that. metal teens in the 80s. Like when I was in high school, if I listened to Iron Maiden and Metallica, I was a teenage, I would, you'd be a teenage dirt bag. That's what, that's the definition. Slayer, mega dirt. Coming from that's the guy right. who wrote the song. Yeah. From Weedus. Uh oh, Grandpa's up. He's up. So. Put his um, bib on. Um. I love Ozzy. So, I'm really mad because Dan went to old Metallica's. I love the Bee Gees. I love the Bee Gees. Um, you saw Zeppelin in Boston? That's pretty badass. The Moody Blues. You guys, we're talking about freaking yeah, John said Moody, Moody Blues. Blues too. Yeah, I mean Moody Blues. Uh, what is it? Knights in White Did Satin. Did you put his thing on? Uh, what am I eating? I'm eating my martini, onions, and olives. Uh huh. Uh oh. Get it, girl. John Cal. Hi, Tracy Lynn. You saw Moses? Who's Moses? <laughs> uh, Millie Vanilli. Uh, you know, I'm really sad I never saw Millie Vanilli. Happy birthday, Vanilla. Um. You're not interested in you both. Well, Paulette, nobody's keeping you here, sweet pea. And what this is this isn't, oh, John Denver's this awesome. isn't this isn't an airport. We are, no need to announce your arrivals or departures. Um there you have I it. forgot the question now. We got caught on a troll, so I forgot the real question. Um what was your first card? I, I don't know. And what We're you responding wanted? to trolls and not real. What questions. was your I'm asking you a fucking wow. question? I was over. I said what I want to say, and then I move on. I'm, I'm trying to answer. What the was your first car? I don't... And what would you if would you want it back? If you fucking take that bug out of your fucking ass, then maybe um, you would have listened to me. I love Bob Seger. What was your first car? My first car was a Dodge. Was a Plymouth Colt. And would you want that back? No. There you have it. <laughs> I would. I, I'd be good with never having that four speed thing with no air conditioning, the radio didn't work, freaking windows stopped working. I I had to, it had He's no, I, if it me. idled, if I, if I came to an idle, the engine died. So I had to stop the damn thing with the emergency brake while I had my foot on the clutch and the other foot on the gas, keeping it up. It was crazy. That was my first car. Why am I yelling? And grandpa husband... bought me that car, by the way, for 1200 bucks. Um, doesn't listen. And I was so done. 
<clears throat> my first car was a. I personally hate it when people eat on these things. Seventy four. I really don't like it. Corona. I mean, why get on here and Toyota eat? Corona? Does anybody know what a Toyota Corona is? Toyota Corona. Yeah, that's what I had. And no, I would not want that fucker back. Mm -mm. I don't have to be nice to my man. Corona, not Corolla. Corona. What did I look like when I had hair? I assume that question <coughs> for me. I look like this with hair. Corona. Or thinning hair. I think I look better bald because... When you have, when you're going bald, <laughs> everyone says you're going bald, you know, and you have, you have a comb over or whatever, thin hair. Now that I'm bald, there's no, oh, no, no, there's no question. Coach, I'm just it was bald. A Toyota Corona. But I, there are some pictures of me with hair. You, you guys. can find them. Like I did my teenage yes. back video. My Toyota, my Toyota Corona was also a lemon and it would backfire and it was a stick shift and it was horrible. I was stick shifts are great. I was uh, eating I my onion shifts. and my martini. Ugh. And I would not want that back. <laughs> uh, Tren Trenitra wants to know, why do you go live with me? Because I'm so embarrassing an, and rude and disrespectful. An 88 Ford Ranger. Um, my wife's my wife and she can, you know, I don't have to be the same and she can be whatever she wants. It's her own persona and she broadcasts it out and you, you, you get what you get back, but that's her choice and she'll have to figure out you know? She's gone, so you can stop. You're, you well, can save your breath. She she got booted. She got booted. She's rude and disrespectful, so she goes bye bye. Mm. There you have it. Uh, that would be a Gibson if it had an onion. It had an onion. So Margaret, I put onions and olives in my. There was a there was a there was a there is still a Toyota Corolla, but there was a Toyota Corona. Yes. I remember that. You one. guys. Look they, it they, up. But they're old. I 1970, mean, you're old. 1974 Toyota Corona. Wow, 74. Like That's the, the year you were born. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, so you, you bought a 16-year-old car. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I think there's gin. Uh, what's in your drink there? Vodka. Is it just vodka? Vodka. Vodka. I'm, I'm rooting for the Niners this weekend. It's going to be a good game. Mm-hmm. Corona. Y'all, Corona, not Corolla. There's a difference. Corona. I mean, it's a great name, right? It's the like the outside Hi, of the sun is the Corona. It's real. Thank you. I don't make shit up. That was my first freaking car. <laughs> my first car. I am not wearing a bald cap. I mean, yeah. if I had hair, I'd be sporting hair. Believe and it, me. And it was blue. If I had a that big, was giant, white. thick head of hair... Night. Nin I'd be doing this crap all the time. I'd be doing this. I'd be moving it. I'd grow it out. If I had some hair, man, I'd try. I'd dye it. I would. Oh, I wish I had some hair. I got no hair. I just. I, all I can do is shine my head. Georgia or Alabama? I'm not. I'm not a real big college football guy. I mean, I enjoyed watching Colorado and you know, like USC with the number one you know recruit at quarterback, but. Um, I'm not a huge college football because I went to San Jose State and we never had a great football team. So I never really got into it. I'm a professional um, sports guy. I'm Major League Baseball and uh, football and basketball. I'm not afraid to get dementia times up. I don't, I just honestly don't think I'm going to live that long. If I, if I have to worry about dementia again, like I tell my dad, you're 91 years old, you know, you're going to have things go wrong and you're gonna outlive people. People are gonna pass, but you know, what's the alternative? So if I live long enough to get dementia, that's probably good a good thing. But I, you know, hopefully they have some cures. Hopefully they have some better treatments for dementia. 1995 Chevy. College football is turning into pro. Um, was your Corona a two or four door? Four door. It was a four door Corona. Angie, I, I'm not. I don't think I'm not going to die tomorrow. I don't think. <laughs> Twice I need help, but 
I don't think I'm gonna live to be 91. If I do, great. I mean, I don't know what medicine has to offer in the next couple of years, but I don't live as healthy a life as my dad did. I have more stress than he did. And those things- How do you know you have more stress to him? You don't really know what he's stressed about. Uh, because my dad doesn't process stress that way. Mm. Things don't bother him. They, they, they were ugly cars. Good man, thanks for rubbing that in. I wasn't privileged as a young child. Thanks for watching from Ohio. <laughs> 1990s Geo Metro. I, that, that tiny car, that's that like a Hot Wheel. Mm -hmm. I know what that is. Hey, by the way, my first car I bought. How about that? How about the first car you I, bought? I, let me tell you that. My first car I bought was a, a Ford She's get the Fiesta. Name wrong. It was not a Fiesta. Not new car, right? Are you talking about a new car? Are you talking about the green car? The green car was not a Fiesta. What was it? It was a Festiva. Because I was there. We bought that when I was in law nope. school. You bought it. With, I bought I'm, it without you. I bought it when you were at the DA's office. Right. Okay. And I, I had still, an aftermarket air conditioning put in. I remember. It. And it didn't work. Because it had that stupid blue button that you pressed. It didn't work. And it was a Festiva. Like a two-cylinder Festiva. It was the a four-cylinder. I think a top speed of like 45 miles an hour. <laughs> People were passing us on their I, bikes. Kathy, I wanted the Escort, but I couldn't afford it. I mean, literally. I mean, you could walk faster than you could get around that thing. You had a gold Festiva? And it was a new car, too. It had that new car I had smell. a Fiesta. In fact, that was our first new car. I had no, a, We weren't married yet. I right? had a Fiesta. Yeah, we Remember, eventually, didn't I put the Blau punked in it? <laughs> didn't I put it and it got taken out of the car? Yeah, in that so, apartment. It got yeah. broken into So Dan's brother out. had a Porsche, and he took the original Blau punk out of the Porsche, and I put it in my Festiva. <laughs> And it got stolen. Someone just cracked the window. <laughs> they broke the window and took the damn blow punch. Oh, shit. Good God. Mm -hmm. um, did his, my dad's symptoms were very slow onset, <laughs> like over 15 years. Although I am preparing a video, Good. Good which I think will be one of the best videos I've ever produced. I, I have a video of him in the car from over two years, almost two years ago. I think almost two years ago to the day, like in, in November 20th or something from two years ago. And I'm gonna, and I asked him a series of questions and he answered those questions and I'm gonna take him for a ride and I'm gonna ask those same questions and we're gonna see the progression of the disease from where he was Keith, two years ago to where he is Keith, today. It's gonna be the same question, same car, same drive. Purple VW. And I think it'll be a really telling video. Yeah, and you know what was in my tape player at the time and I was really pissed off is Ace of Base. I and saw Angie, the sign question? and then opened up my mind. I saw the sign. Thank God. That, that was, was in my blow pump. Thank God. <laughs> I, I may not have been in it. I may have just it taken it, thrown it away and told her it was oh, in the Jerry. blow pump, but I really just oh threw God. the tape away. That was in my blow pump. Ace of I was base. so pissed off that they took it. I mean, she was uh, also a Millie Vanilli fan. That I, I did. You. I know. And I was bummed. I never saw the concert. I, I never liked Millie Vanilli. I loved Millie Vanilli. Yes, the MTV music videos. Oh, shit. Um, no family tied to Michigan. We Robert, have a lot of Michigandier friends that we, send us our I stuff. have some videos, Hi, like CNH. old videos that from that from family videos that mm -hmm. I'm gonna, gonna try and get some video. And eventually if we can go through and check old, you know, phones from like when my kids were being born, he might be in some of those. I don't know, I'm gonna look. Judy, I've decorated as much as I'm going to. Uh, be be keen. I I do take my dad out in the in the Porsche often. No, you Whenever don't. I take it, I'll, I'll take him you out. You can't in the anymore. He, it's it's hard for him to get in and out. It's not hard for me to get in or out. I mean, why do you? It's hard for my dad to get in and out of the Porsche. And you. It's not hard for me to get okay, in and I'm out. I'm going to record you. Go ahead. Uh, it's hard for me to get in and out. I, I, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's easy for me to get in it. It's hard for me to get out of it. Well, I, I literally no hold on to the door and I'm in better fucking shape than you and not Apparently 25 not. pounds overweight. Apparently not because I can get in and out okay. of that thing. Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Getting a test. in and out of bed or well, getting in and out of the and, shower. And, in, out, in, out. I could do it all day long. All right. In, out, well, in, let's, out. Let's video it. Let's do it. That's let's the next it. video. That's the next video. My heart attack was February 14th. Uh, five years ago. Five 2019. years ago. 2019. Did you say 2019? It was in 2019. Yeah. But I was 51. Oh, so it's yeah, five. not five years ago yet. Well, I'm 56 now, and I was mm -hmm. 51. So almost five years ago, 
in February, February 14th will be the five year anniversary. And I've lost a lot of weight. I'm much healthier than I was at that time. No, I hold on to the door, Heather. I can't get the out of that The stereo in the car. porch sucks, Richard. And every time I get in, out of it, I'm like, hey! <laughs> so if I say that, what the fuck is he saying? <gasps> what the heck is he saying? I, I've wanna, lost about 20 pounds do you see if he wants since that, that time. But have you ever I seen do, Dan's I still Costco? Go up and down, but have I, you ever seen Dan's Costco card? I don't that much anymore. No, he's not that big. He's not up. I mean, you get me No, up. ask, I said, ask him if he wants more food. Yeah, Duh. Anything else? What? You want anything else? You want any more food? No, I'm fine. You're, do you want some dinner? Some more, some I'm steak? I'm not even right now. Okay, well, I'm going to wipe your face off because most of it's on your lips. Um, he's almost done. Yes, Valentine's Day. Are you, are you, is that all you want or do you want some? So, right um, right, well, I'm gonna give you Valentine's Day is not, it's really scary for us because it's a reminder uh dan doesn't listen no ever hi in cabo is one of my favorite places to be um yes i am very patient roxy if you only knew you want to come spend a day with me and really see it do we ever just get time with just us two not anymore nope we really do. i mean it's things have really changed um really since the fall I mean, since that fall that we took, I mean, it's, I can't, I mean, I don't know whether it's his physical condition or I'm just nervous, but I'm really uncomfortable leaving him for an extended period of time. Because even with my brothers, it's been so long that, you know, they don't realize how feeble he is right now. So I am super careful with them walking. I mean, even though I can't prevent everything, um, it, it is, we don't have a lot of free time. Um, so, and, and we don't have a lot of, you know, like I'd like to go out to a restaurant and, um, you know, have some sushi and drink some beers, but, um, we really don't have time. How did I lose my weight? I walked, um, I changed my diet. I still eat a lot, but I started exercising and, and eating healthy. I still eat crap, a lot of crap, but I eat healthy all through the day. Um, and, 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 and walk a lot and, and I don't. You know, I'm not going to take a vat of, you know, cake frosting and eat it with a spoon like I might have seven years ago, you know, watching TV. I'm, I'm, I'm much more careful about what I eat. I think so, someone's six foot five, 300 pounds getting out of a Corvette. That can be it's tough. Hard. It's hard. But I have it's, no problem. Liz, it's difficult. Sell out and move to the beach. We can't. That's a good idea. We can't. How are you going to wear Well, the we shoes? can't with, with, with we grandpa, grandpa here. But, you guys. I mean, come yeah. on. It's easier said than done. We have grandpa. Yeah. Um, you know. I mean, we still, I was, actually, we were talking about that today. They said, what was the favorite things you guys did together before grandpa? And I said, McCoonies yeah, was one we, of them. We would go out. And, we talked about McCoonies. We talked yeah. about going. I did, We didn't talk we about it. We go to Tahoe life, a lot. But we, um. You can't really, it's hard for us to get away now because like Andrew watching them, Mark watching them, it just puts them in a tizzy and, I, I, and we're paranoid. Tomorrow, like, you know, my buddy, my good friend, um, best man at my wedding, John, John? Um, he has, he's got to go up to Lake Tahoe. He lives in the Bay Area and he drives right by and he's like, hey, you want to come with me up to... Uh, go with him. I'll stay home. I'll, I'll, it's overnight. I'll stay home with it. No, I haven't. I haven't responded to him, but I'm reluctant to go because it's a lot of responsibility to place on one on Danielle yeah, because he's want, hard now. If you wanted to go, I mean, you could go. I just couldn't go to Laney's game in the morning. You couldn't do that, and you couldn't you couldn't go to Wesley's game tomorrow either. So, I mean, it's a there's a lot of it's it, it's hard now. You know, with my dad in this condition, it's hard. And I was telling you earlier, I, I'm making a video of. My dad, I asked him a series of questions two years ago and his response. And I'm gonna take him in a car ride the same, I'm gonna ask him the same questions and you're gonna see the progression of the disease over two years and it's substantial. You know, it's so slow, it's hard to pick up. Even just watching videos, you probably don't realize the extent of the progression of the illness. Um, you know, it's like your kid growing up, you know? two years goes by and you don't really see much. And then all of a sudden you see an old picture from two years ago and you're like, holy shit, there was a lot of growing. Well, I'm gonna, you're gonna see the difference in the progression of the illness. I'm, it should be a really good educational video. And um, that, that's kind of why two years ago we could have gone. Now it's much more difficult. 
Your husband just got diagnosed with vascular dementia, Victoria. That means it's very important that he stays up on his meds, you know, his heart meds, things like statins, to keep those veins and arteries clear, and as clear as possible. You know, that's the only way we keep my dad from progressing faster is to prevent future, you know, mini strokes. I'll make a deal with you. If you want to go, I just have to go to Wesley's game, but I won't go to Laney's game on Sunday. Hi, kitty cat. All right. We'll, we'll so, I mean, if you, John, can you guys can hang out here until I get back and then you guys can go because I'll be in Roseville tomorrow. But I don't mind that. I mean, I think it's important for us to also I'm, get breaks. Who has the strongest uh, California accent? I do. I mean, you guys, you ever heard, you know, like Valley Girl gag me with a spoon? Or Jen, a surfer talk. We flip flop at the, in the evening time. So like every other day I'll do my TikTok, he'll do his YouTube and we fluctuate back and forth. Um, in the morning time, I'm always on my TikTok. Grandpa hasn't been to Mark's in, in about a year. It's really- a year. In a month, I'm sorry. Two months. It's really tough right Two now months. for Mark. It would be really difficult for him. He'd have to be 100% of the time on it. And he's got you know stuff he has to do. And Mark's helping my mom. It's very difficult now. It's gotten a lot tougher for sure. <laughs> we could not take him to Africa. Is that what I, we said? I, yeah, I, it's, you know, it's tough to take him to the store, much less take him to Africa. Yeah, it's hard. It's really hard. My siblings are uh, range from my older brothers, like 10 years older than me, and Josh, like 16 years younger than me. Mm, HB has a question. We grew up viewing our father and mother as superheroes who aren't human. How did you transition from the lenses of your childhood to the seeing and helping your father with current challenges? Well, that's a great, great question. When, as you age, you know, as you get, you know, you graduate from high school and you, you, you start to learn at some point that your parents aren't superheroes and that everything they said might not be, you know, 100% right. That's a realization. Who said, who's talking about Ephraim Zimbalist? Uh, Betty, I have two brothers. Who's Judy? Why do you, we're related to Ephraim Zimbalist. That's why I'm asking why you, she's putting Ephraim Zimbalist up there. Lair's here. Hi, Lair, but ask Judy why she's talking. Well, you just said, you asked her. All right, uh, tell me more about Ephraim. Um, and and I, whatever the hell I was <laughs> saying, I don't remember what the hell I was saying before. About your dad about? being mom. Oh yeah, you, you realize your parents aren't perfect and that is a scary realization. And then you re kind of, then you get a little older and you realize you aren't perfect either. And that's a scary realization, so. Step in, we're very close with Josh and his wife and his kids, yes. Um, as far as West Virginia, it's all uh, followers of us. Um, what's gotten tougher, it's hard. If you, watch, if you go back that. and watch videos from two years ago, you, you'll see it Cheers, was, Mike. you know, I could walk 10 feet ahead of him, you know, without worrying about him falling. Now I have to walk with him all the time. Um, he's not as sharp as he's, he's the, it's progressed both physically and mentally. It's all tougher, but mostly the physical is what's tougher. I have to protect him physically all the time. And I still want to know Hi, what someone's, why the someone Ephraim. put well, in Ephraim. hasn't responded. Uh, big game. Because Ephraim Zimbalist David, was, big game, David said big game Sunday. Just for so people can know, Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. was he was oh, an actor in the '60s, Sarah. and he was on shows like FBI and some other <gasps> stuff. He was a famous actor, and Ephraim Zimbalist. Oh, I'm sorry. Someone, someone put that up there. I say must know something because that's not one of my brothers. Listening that's on my that's on my dad's side, but his mother's side. Mm, thanks, Smiley. My dad, my dad's, my dad's mother's side. No, you can't. Hi. Is that, are you, you going or am I going? You can get up this time. He's just, I just gave him dessert, so. But maybe pills. Pills, pills, Yeah, pills. yeah, sit. Hello in Ireland. Sit, I'm gonna get your medicine, sit. Why would you ask that question, Honcho? Sit. Has he had an affair with a client? No, know. why sit. would he? Hello? Got more okay. um, hey, in St. Lucia. Sit. You know, it's, it's no. not something to be scared about. It's sad, no. but it's not scary. No. It's scary as they decline, um, and you do the best you can. That's it. Hi, Alicia. I'm good. <gasps> yes, it's December 1st, 2023, and it's 5.50 PST. Yeah, do you remember Ephraim Zimbalist Jr.? 
There you have it. It's, it's really hard, you know. Um, I am. You're related to Ephraim Zimbalist Jr. No, I didn't know that. Well, how do you know who he is? Stressing. I'll tell you where the shoes. I'm going to tell you what I do. Are you guys listening? Do you want to listen? You're related to Ephraim Zimbalist. Um, for stress, I'm going to tell you what I do. The last couple days, I've been overwhelmed with just my inner, like, my inner menopausal shit. I've been in a very, um, I've been in a struggle. I've been in a, I've been in a struggle. Um, and so what I do, right, um, after I get on the treadmill and get my boost up from all you guys, um, I sit outside See, I take play with the dogs, and I sit outside for a while in ah, the sun ah, when it's warm, ah, and I yeah, just I sit, and I, I like take oh, some yeah, mental so breaks. Yeah. Um, I, I, um, oh, thanks, Jenny. It's, it's not always easy, right? And especially in uh, the changing woman, right? It's very difficult sometimes. It's difficult. I also left the house today. I also left the house today because I needed to get out. I felt that I was very, I was struggling a lot. And so I left. Um, and that helps. Those things that I can do when Dan's here. And that's why it's really nice to have a tag team, right? It's not easy. Um, and that's why, uh, same thing recently. Oh, Jeremy. Uh, um. Oh, Jeremy, I, I, I'm sorry. No, none of my family's... Um, none of my family is here. And it's really hard for me. Um, my brothers would come once a year. Um, and now one of my brothers is married. He just got married in June. And one of my brothers has just taken a very demanding job. So he's not able to come away um, to come see me. Those were my highlights, you know, of my brothers coming to see me. And now it's going to be few and far between. So it's really hard for me. But it is what it is, right? My, all my family, um, for the most part, is in Nashville. Yeah, in New York. Who was the UFC champion? Yeah, wear the shoes, that's hard. Hi, hi Bernadette in England. Um, I'm originally from Nashville. We're having, a, my whole family's coming on Christmas. So oh, we have a, the whole, the whole kit and caboodle will be here on Christmas. Um, and I, um, my, my pastime, cause my kids, you know, I have a daughter in San Diego and I have a daughter who's going to law school in Sacramento. Um, and so we see her sometimes, um, you know, when she's, we, we make plans to do things and, and, my biggest joy is on the weekends when I come and see, when I go and see my niece and nephew. Yeah. Uh, Kirby, it's really hard to just medicate, you know, Ed, because he is, he's already struggling with walking and his posture. He's 91 and a half. And, you know, we just don't want to add to the confusion. So it's really hard. Oh, hi. Hi. Sean Strickland. I did not. Mike Vick, are are you are you the quarterback? Um, I did not see this. Miss, I don't see ninety percent of the comments, so I'm sorry if I missed uh, Strickland's comment. I, I would have loved to have seen it. Mood when you right, yeah. Medication is not always the answer, mm -mm. and especially when he's the way he is, it's really it's hard for us to say let's give him something, right? <laughs> He won't, not only will he not use a walker, I have it on video today. He's like, what's that? You can't I'm all, that's card yours, games. Dad. What do I need that for? Ed, As I'm holding his gait belt, yeah. he's, he's Ed, saying, I don't need that. Ed has never played card games, so you can't do that now. A good red wine. I love Tara. Anything that is a blend, I love. Uh, for what? Alton Strickland? Be a fun, yeah. Well, I'm welcome. Um, Kirby, our life is on Thank hold you for right watching. now. That's something that we have done as a couple is we know right that our 
lives are going to be on hold for a minute. And that's Has our sex life struggle due to, due to Ed? No, it's from menopause. Yes, it's struggled. From menopause. I'm struggling. She's from not struggling. I'm struggling. Um, I like Lexapro, uh, but it doesn't. I, it's not for everybody. I don't know if he watched Seinfeld. Grandpa? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I doubt he was a sitcom person. But remember, you know, I my parents divorced when Do I was like 10. So some of those rage. facts, I, I'm just not privy to. What's red eye rage? I get rage, but I don't know what red eye rage is. Is that what I have? Red eye rage. <laughs> well, red know. eye rage? Is What's that like when you're on, a, on an airplane overnight and then you just get tired and you suffer rage? You know, here's the good thing about Dan and I. And correct me if I'm wrong. She's not drinking wine. She's drinking vodka, so... If she's drinking wine, it'd be fine. But she's slamming that vodka. Is that vodka? Someone's saying you drank wine fast. I'm saying, no, she's drinking vodka. Anyway, that was a retort, but never mind. I was going to say something nice about you, but now I'm deciding whether or Jeremy I to... lives in... Where, where, I, I, was in I was in Lynchburg, Tennessee, where Jack Daniels is distilled, which ironically is a dry county. You can't even buy Jack Daniels in the liquor store across the street or Here's a funny in town. thing. Here's a funny thing. Bonsoir, Julie. Como se va? Is rage. Yes, I get rage. Um, I was in CVS today and I was talking to my friend in Texas and she said, wait, you can buy hard alcohol in, tech and, and, in CVS? I said, yes, this is California. We can. <laughs> Are you talking about Utah? Is it somebody in Utah? No, Lisa from Texas. I mean, you can buy in Texas. You can sell it on the street without. No, but a she cannot get it. You can moonshine. She in was your surprised. Basement and sell she it on your front porch. She was surprised I like could buy lemonade. vodka. I went to vod I went to CVS to get vodka because I was not going to go to Costco because I'm lazy. I am because I was going to say something nice and then he just like berates me. <laughs> I'm just talking to the. Thing. I'm not braiding well, I'm you. I'm taking away your what? I'm oh, Adivan is causing depression. Betty, then yeah. it's not for you. It's not for you. I, 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 yeah, that, that's a strong medicine. We I'm 56. Yes, yeah, so now. I can buy hard alcohol <clears throat> in CVA in liquor stores. Yep. They have special liquor stores. They're called party stores in some states. Yeah, Grandpa is. He's finished dinner. He's. We do go to Dish Coyotes. That's. We do go there. And I will bring my dad to Dos yes, Coyotes. Yeah. He's comfortable there. Um, and it's not <laughs> yeah, far. Totally. He was arrested after you drank vodka. Vodka will do that to you. Uh, Mark did Drive and would say it's at Dan's. Yes. When he's at, when he was at Mark's. We both, we all use Hi, that. Costco's wild Aunt Betty's Cafe. I was not going there. Is that a club? What? I, I don't know. I don't know. I know where Lynchburg is. Mm -hmm. Do I take my dad to Hooters? Um, no, I don't even know where Hooters is. Bedmode and is if I was going to go to but Hooters, Sarah? honestly, Costco. or let's be more realistic, if I was going to go out to a place like that, yes, Kim, I would probably not want to take my dad. Would you want to take your dad somewhere like that? No. I mean, he's still my dad. Tell them what right? happened when we went to the mango deck in uh, Cabo. Okay, that's a great story. So, um, about this is about, you know... When we took him on the cruise. Yeah, so we, we, we took my dad on a cruise how Andrew, many years ago? Andrew was probably like eight. Okay, so about 10 years ago, uh, we took my dad on a cruise. Um, as he was, at that point, he was living alone and, and you know, he was healthy. Oh, we shit. took him on a cruise. What? Our bedroom door is locked. How does it lock? There's nobody in there. Um, so... We took him to Mexico and we get to Cabo San Lucas and the cruise stops and we go to this bar called the Mango Deck. Well, that was about the time when people, when girls started wearing uh, thongs or string bikinis, whatever you call them. I mean, you can see everything. I gotta go. I gotta go. You can see literally everything. And we were in there and I'm just, my eyes are as big as, you know, you can believe. And my kids are there, Andrew's there, and my dad's with us. And some of, and there's a lot of, you know, college kids down there and some girl who was really sweet, right? And she was wearing nothing, wearing whatever the hell you wear down there. And she sat next to him and she was flirting with him. It was just, she was so great. I mean, she was so wonderful to, to you know, talk to him and touch him and, you know, and my dad was just like, you could like me, you know, just kind of like a bit, you know, embarrassed, didn't know what to do, 
like the attention, love the view, you know, uh, but didn't kind of know how to handle it. And she was really great with them and just flirted with them for like half an hour. It was a short cruise stop, uh, but that was in Cabo San Lucas. So that's about as close as I can get or close as I've come to taking my dad to um, Hooters or a strip club. So I did see it and he, you know, he reacted just like you might think that he would react. Good your dad go to daycare center. He's not good. He would not be good at, in a daycare center. He's yeah. really particular. You know, when I'm not here, he, it's really difficult. Oh, bye, Barbara. Even on Thanksgiving when I wasn't here, my dad was, you know, where's Dan? Where's Dan? He gets, he's set in his ways, and that's what makes, he feels safe in, in, in where he is now. And when you step outside of his comfort zone, he doesn't feel as safe. Mm -mm. Are you getting up or am I getting up? I just let the dogs in. Uh, Mark is here. Where's Mark? Mark's right there. Oh, hi, Mark. Mark is on. No, the, that's not. That's not uh, your Mark. On? That's not your Mark. Oh. That's Mark. Oh, right, dogs. right, right. Mark's Mark's 420. Right? Mm -hmm. Dad. Do you do keto? No. Change is not good for him anymore. Mm. NPR, 100%. I was eating what was in my martini. Onions and olives. Hi, Big Al. Mike, me, and Dan have been there, too. Hi, in Livermore. Hello. Sorin, we said that already. Uh, do you do Botox? Um, I try, but it doesn't work for me. Um, only because I think menopause kind of kills it. So, no, I don't. Um, yes, money hungry people, Chad. How did you know? Thank you for giving me a view. Hi, Brittany. Onions, yeah. I put onions and um, olives in my drink. What is the hardest of what you guys are doing with Grandpa? Hardest is now that we have him full time is not having that break. Um, I mean, I tied in. Here, let me answer uh, that. Hold on, TNT. I I was born in Nashville. She sleeps upstairs now, which means that do we visit Laguna del Sol? <laughs> Dan has that. I caught that caught my <laughs> that caught me. I've been there with good yes, clothes Canada, when I was there. Was, I was clothed. Was was I was actually there. across the river. It was garlic. Um, but the most difficult time for me, quite honestly, now, as I'm the only one who gets up with them at night, is he gets up a lot, and All the time. that is devastating to my sleep and. You know, sometimes I'll try and stay in bed, listen, and if he goes to the bathroom, I can hear him flush the toilet. If I hear his door shut in his room, I can relax. But when I don't hear that door shut, that means Thanks he's walking see. around and I have to Good get night, up. Buddy. Doesn't matter how tired I am, what dream I'm in, I have to get up and go and bring him back to his room. That, to me, is has become the hardest. Mm, when she Kendra. was sleeping downstairs, she would get up you know, half the time. And so it was a little bit easier, but now it's all, I get up sometimes. I'm not complaining. No, but I now, get up sometimes. Now it's all on me. So that is difficult. That's my most difficult. He does not take sleeping meds because we don't want to mm -hmm. screw with them at all. You know, I don't want to do anything that's going to make him worse or more feeble when he's walking because he goes to the bathroom 30 times a night, right? I don't want him to be staggering to the bathroom. He's already, you know, questionable. He doesn't sleep during the day. Thanks, Carrie. I appreciate that. Mm -mm. My, what's my favorite all-time snack? Thanks, Storm. Snack. I mean, I I love my dessert. I like. Uh, I mean, I'm a. I've always liked ho hos or ding dongs. I don't know why, but um, I like those. I like peanut M and M's for a snack. I eat a <laughs> lot of fruit cheese. now. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> My parents never bought that stuff. Never bought American cheese. We I, always bought I'm the American cheese. cheese lover, by the way. Ed has never smoked uh, fern in his entire life. I love Reese's. <laughs> yeah, Judy. You know. I mean, it's not easy to find things Avocado. like that. Avocado, yes. I, uh, Colby Numa, cheese. Numa, I'm, I'm from Saratoga, right down the street from you. Lived there my, the first 22 years of my life. Uh, we've had him full-time for two months now. Yeah. 
Yes, meat and cheese dipped in Thousand Island dressing. Um, he can he can eat. He can watch TV. I'm all decorated. He can. I, I'm not as worried with him walking around the house, as long as all the doors are locked and he can't get out. Um, I threw some. I'm not that worried. I threw some f bombs earlier, but you know it's dancing. Do you want to do that or do you want to? He's talking to the dog. Right. Well, why? Because Nicole, he does not go to the other brothers anymore because he's become more feeble and mm -hmm. more Sweet difficult and, and more fragile. So it's much more difficult for one person to, you know, you have to go with him everywhere he goes. And Mark has a smaller house, so it's tough to keep him indoors. And so it's really hard for Mark. And Mark's been dealing with kidney stones and other things. He had to go to the ER one night. And we can't That's have my dad right. over there if Mark has a kidney stone and he's like wreathing in pain. And has to go to the hospital. He's turning off lights. Now he's up. Favorite vacation spot used to be yeah. um, Maui. Um, and now if we went, it's Cabo because it's quick. Uh, it's not temporary. It's full time now. Yeah. Um, permanently. Hi, Jessica. How are you? We are not in Maui. <laughs> we wish. Chantel, you're on a cruise? It's better if he doesn't have to switch homes. For him, yes, it's better. All inclusive, yes. I have my hands full, yes. Hello from Montana. Uh, no, we're Northern California. I, I know, I, I didn't turn him on. I love Maui. Um, it is December 1st. 2023 at 6.07 PST. It is December 21st. And if you're not on uh, DeSal NorCal 1434 on YouTube, or what are you on? This Mrs. DeSal Nor NorCal 3. 3. You're watching a pirated version of this. We, we've been dealing with people pirating not only the videos, but now they're pirating the lives. Grandpa is, is right now, Lisa Marie, boredom's a big problem for him, but right now he's tired. That's his biggest problem right now. And he, he, he sees the clock and he doesn't want to go to bed at six o'clock. And so that's his problem is he's tired. I mean, he's 91 and he's, the, the disease is progressing. It is sad to watch. It's sad to see him go to bed at six o'clock or 6.30. Someone's from Maui? Mm -hmm. yeah, I, that's my favorite place in the world. Ka'anapali and Lahaina. By the way, did you notice our oven is now at the correct time? I, I changed it. Oh, you did? It wasn't Do you think it before. just magically changed? I did because it wasn't changing before. Danielle believes in magic. <laughs> I changed the oven to the right time because that was screwing my dad up. He'd look at the oven and he'd go, oh, it's, uh, you know, whatever it was, an hour ahead or hour behind. It was an hour ahead. And so he'd think it was later. I go, no, it's not. Oh, the scariest that. thing, Tracy, is definitely falls. That's the scariest thing is falls. That's my biggest fear. He's fallen a million times. I mean, okay. sometimes he's bloodied. Sometimes he's not, you know, that's, and some, I'm just waiting for when he's gonna have a fall and a broken bone or a broken hip or something like that. That's my biggest fear without, that's an easy question to answer. Chad. Who is easier I, to be in I, bed I with, Dan or Danielle? I don't know this is the place Me. for you, honey. Me. What? You what? What, d South NorCal is my channel. Um, his mom takes care of herself. Yeah. 26 years. Mm -hmm. Fall. Southern girls, Woody man. I horrible. tell you, bring a Southern girl to California and all hell breaks loose. When you take them out of the, you know, whatever, what was Tennessee, you're living in a hut or something, a mud, mud, you know, the South. You're a hillbilly. Are you not a hillbilly? No. Bring the hillbilly. I was watching, um, interestingly enough, there... A, a, a TikTok came on with Jed Clampett. Who's Jed Clampett? <laughs> Jed Clampett was. Uh, I don't know who Jed Clampett is? He was from. Uh, the Hillbillies. Yeah, he was a hill, the Beverly Hillbillies. Max Bear Jr. was on that. Max Bear, there, we have a Max Bear museum like a mile from our house. It's the strangest thing, but he lived in Galt. So, Max Bear, who was a professional boxer, and his son was Jed was uh, whatever the hell his name was on Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, Jed, Jed, Jed uh, I don't know, what the hell was his name? Someone will know. Really? Jethro, Jethro, Jethro was his name, yeah. Thank you for the hat. Jethro was the, uh, was the guy, Max Bear Jr. 
Yeah, it's, it's like five minutes from my house. Jethro, yep. Yeah. Andy Griffith. That was a great show, too. Hello, Don Julio. Thanks, Shelby. Um, Buddy Epson Nicole, is Judd Clampett, um, that's right. We would not hire nighttime help. It's not the time yet. But we would consider it. It's not the time yet. I we would said. definitely, when, when the time comes, that's oh, that, that'll Melissa. be, the, you know. I have wine. We'll definitely have to explore I have that. wineries I buy from in Lodi. Donna, yes. And, and you don't even just, it's not just breaking something. Just the fall, without a break, I saw the the decline. So I can only imagine. Thanks, I, I guess I can't imagine my dad like being in bed for six weeks with a broken bone. I just can't imagine it. I couldn't imagine Max that. Bear is still alive? Or Max Bear Jr., Judy. That's really interesting. Falls are scary. Nothing wrong with a hillbilly, Fern Freeman. I, I back, you know, if I could go live as a hillbilly in the hills. With moonshine? Uh, there's Lodi. Yeah. In New Jersey. There's also Lodi oh. in California. Falls are scary, especially for their 91 year olds. And let me tell you, last year, Coda took my legs out from under me outside. And at 40, how old am I? 48, it was that um, I, it hurt. You're 48? So I, I you're... was 48 when I got a freaking. I was 48 too. No, I'm like saying seven, when nine years I ago. got clipped from Coda outside, oh. that freaking hurt. <laughs> she clipped you? She clipped me. She took my ass out. Sweet Caroline, you know how difficult it is after an injury. So it, it is my my worry and my, my intention to try and prevent as best I can injuries. Ari, which one? I didn't know what. I don't know a lot of things. Flag for clipping. Yeah. Um, as he had lately, he's had moments of clarity. I mean, it's relative. Good night, wear the shoes. His Love moments you, of clarity today are not what his moments of clarity were two years ago, right? I mean, his moments of clarity today might look like, you know, no three breath. or four years ago. Mm -hmm. So he does have moments of, of where he's more, uh, more clear, but not like, you know, he goes back to, you know, no symptoms at all. You are kind of su stuck. But Dan, you done well. All right. Well, you got some love. Um, so and basically, you, you get up or you we want me to sleep. Get up? We sleep upstairs. I sleep upstairs, not we, because Dan's up all night long. He's always been up all night long throughout his whole life. He doesn't sleep well, and so between him and Grandpa, I was getting no sleep. So well, I Grandpa go up. Does not remember his second so wife at all. Josh's mom. You won't let me finish? Oh, go ahead. Sorry, I was answering a question. Um, so I sleep in separate room because oh, some, one room. of us needs to sleep. Just simple. Um, especially... Lisa Marie, it was called oh, Billy so Beer. Yeah. Grandpa found um, some food, obviously. Lynn, What's, what are you Lynn, eating, Dad? Lynn Rose. Um, we can take turns. Um, Dan's up a lot throughout the night. Um, and when I need to come, when I hear him rummaging through the night um, and Dan's not up and he's sleeping, I do get up. Thank you. Um, one of us needs, yeah, sleep. Um, he gets his ears clean when he needs to, yes. Thank you. Uh, a and W restaurant? Actually, what are they home need to get of A&W restaurant? I don't, I don't know. think it's the original home, but I, could, I, I, I don't even know if there is an a I've never seen like an original restaurant, so, and I've been through Lodi. I don't think so, but it might be a different Lodi. We have no memory care nurses at all. And Mark has no kids. His kids are his nieces and nephews. Yeah. He's scratching on the door. The dog, grandpa. yeah. He's scratching, he's been scratching on the door since we started. No, but Coda's, if grandpa went in the bathroom, so Coda's scratching. Uh, Aaron Young. Yeah, um, man, your ranch. I, uh, you, you got, That's cool. I get a lot of emails, dude. I mean, a lot. And I, it's it impossible I for that. me to get to all of them. I get to some days I can do it, and but if I don't get to it within a day or two, I'm never going to get to it because I, they just keep coming. It's like the U.S. mail; they just keep coming. So I do my best, and I and I do the same thing with DMs. I try and answer what I can. He has almost two, but it's hard. Two million followers, so you can imagine how many emails I got the hiccups. He gets in a day. You guys, be patient. What happened to her? Lisa, are you being negative? Wow. Um, I have sad days all the time, Allison. Yeah. We all have sad days. Yep, all the time. 
And I mean, yes, so, sometimes, Sammy. not maybe all day, but you know, like even Cat today, milk. over times, so I'm going, what's going on? It's the onions. It is, Tony. I don't think his memory can come back, Tamrat. But I, I'm not. I'm not a doctor. I mean, if there was a miracle cure, I'm not aware of it. What, Pop? Oh, the lights are on. I didn't know that, Nora. I know. That's good to know. Lights going on right there. Yeah, those are lights on the pig that we were talking in a video. Where's my room at? Your room's behind you, but it's early, Pop. It's only six fifteen. Pardon me. It's only six fifteen. It's only six fifteen. Yeah. That's all. It really looks darker in Look, the front. It is dark, but it's no, only. I believe you, but yeah. So, do you want to stay up for a little later? I think so. Then go watch some TV, Pop. In the other room. Yep. I can't put the camera on. He's got food in his mouth. I'll go in the other room then. Yep, Pop. That's good. Huh? Yeah, it's perfect. Can I go this way? I go that way, right there. Uh, the least dangerous way. Sorry about that, guys. I. I am Italian. How do people know our address? We don't give it out. I mean, it's, it's not like it's hard to find things like that, but most people send stuff to my office. That's Somebody point. sent something to Patoko, you know, because we have the videos. Yeah, so I called, I got a call from Patoko. I called it back. No, hey, um, somebody Sorry, called yes. from Florida and wanted to, uh, to get your address so they could send you something. And they all know Grandpa at Patoko, and it's a small credit union here in, in Sacramento. And so they're, oh, we know grandpa, he comes in, you can go ahead and send it here and and we'll give it to him. And I have not taken him there since the fall. Yeah, you haven't taken him there in Yeah, a long since time, the huh? fall. So they called my office to tell me, hey, I got a package for your dad. He did? So the bank calls and says, I got some, some, someone on from TikTok sent your dad a package. They even said what it was. It was saltwater taffy from Florida. Oh, that's and I said, I will, I will come, funny. I'll bring him to pick it up. Well, thanks, Chrissy. Thank you for all your hard work. Do you worry about Grandpa tripping? Over yes, Jane. Worry about what? Grandpa tripping over yeah, the every, animals. Every day. Yeah, then the animals scare the hell out of me, too. But what are you going to do? Get rid of the well, animals? There, there's things you can do, but we're we're careful. We, you know, I stay with my dad when the I'm aware of it. I watch ahead. And that, sometimes I get angry at Danielle for not thinking ahead, like that could happen, you know. And that, that's, so if the animals are out that I'm aware, I'm going to stay close to my dad or get on the animals to keep them away, to keep them away from him. We typically. Favorite gift. Um, so the, my favorite gifts are hard, unique. Hard. Like we, we got a shirt and a hockey puck from some semi-pro league in Peoria, Chicago. Peoria. In Peoria, Illinois. And, and um, or in Illinois. And, you know, things that are personal that, you know, like from small towns or, you know, things that are historical. We got something from the the Hatfield McCoy Museum, which was pretty cool. You know, just those kinds of things that are unique to, you know, the viewers. We, we enjoy, you know, hats from their colleges and try and, and sport them. But those are kind of the neat things that I enjoy from all around the world. You know, people send little spots from their hometown and I can look and learn and go, oh my God, I mean, it's got stuff from, you know, stuff from Australia, you know, like uh, all their different cookies and, and what's the stuff in Australia? What's the stuff you eat in Australia that uh, like spam? Vegemite. Veg Vegemite, yeah, a can of Vegemite, you know, things like that I would never, you know, think to buy or, you know, come across in my life. And those just surprised the hell of me. And, and, I, and I love getting personal written notes. Um, sometimes people write poems. Sometimes, you know, there's all sorts of re things that are personal, you know, are really cool. That, that's, and, and we keep all those things too. You know, they're all, and, and I've got cards and postcards from different towns. To me, that's, that's the fun. coolest thing. It's fun. You know what else I got? I'm going to show. Can't believe a nice man like that. Well, I mean, Grandpa was not the way he is now his whole life, right? I mean, he was very different 30 years ago. He was it. very opinionated. He was, you know, imagine me, you know, but more stubborn yeah, and things like this that people make and people have made etched things et etched pictures of my dad etched you know like a poetry books um, th that are you know etched and personalized those things are 
really cool. This this is titled they Danielle. They blow me away. So Blows me away I think what people do. Jeanette. And, and the heartfelt wait, letters Judith. that people send are. Let me make sure. Beyond belief. Judith. Uh, Judith. Bad company. Great, Judith, great group. I enjoy it. Um, sends me this stuff, and her daughter-in-law, I believe, makes it. And this says Danielle on the side. Who's her daughter-in-law? Show who her daughter-in-law is. She, she does it so as a business. So she does. She does it as a business. So show it. It, it. And if you like that, you can take a screenshot she of does, it. She does. She does like hand-painted stuff. And we have no, obviously, there's no. No. I don't even know who they are. So it's just. Sharing with you. Look, that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Judith. Denial or Daniel? Lisa Marie. How are you doing up in Calgary? Thanks for the follows, guys. I appreciate it. A follow on, on YouTube. If you could follow, it would be greatly appreciated. And for Danielle on uh on you're on the talk, right? On the yep, ticker talk. On the ticker talker. Um... You, they couldn't see it. If you if you if you want if you're interested in something like that, send a, an email or a DM to Danielle or me, and I'll I'll she forward it to her. All the stuff. So Judith always sends me thank yous for taking care Instagram of. Instagram is the same everybody. name, Cell Norkel. And so she titled this Danielle because this is how she sees me as the person who cares for everybody. It's really cool. That is really cool. I mean, that's really cool. Those are some cool things that we get. Deidre, in, in the couch is always good. My dad was a big band guy. He was a trumpet player. My dad does, you know, I try and catch him when he's in good spirits, right? That's when I try and capture my dad, when it's a nice, it's a nice good video. He's not always like that. And we don't, you know, there's some videos we're just not ever going to show because they're not, it, I don't think he would approve. So, Anthony, how are you doing, man? Anthony Johnson. A bed alarm for Ed. We hear him when he gets up, you guys. I mean, our house you think is really that big, but we, it the way it's, the way it's set up, we hear everything. So even though I'm upstairs, I hear when he's on this side. And of I that usually house. have a dog in my room, and every time he gets up, the dog's up. Okay. So it's not. I hear him get up, right? I, I mean, there may we be sometimes that I don't, right? That he, but you know, he's not. The, all the outside doors are locked and alarmed. He's I not have getting tattoos. Out of the house. Dan does ha does not have tattoos. I'm not a tattoo dude. Mm -mm. Dad is also your instant. Instagram or no. Desal Norcal is my Instagram too. It's all, all my social media. <laughs> is it time for bed? It's Friday, so I'm hopefully going to try and stay up till nine o'clock. <laughs> my nephew always talking to me. He's all, I got to make plans for New Year's. I'm like, my plans for New Year's are like 10 o'clock. I'm going to be in bed. <laughs> we don't ever stay up anymore. New Year's is a different breed these days. I mean, I've done it. I've stayed... Like not slept on New Year's Eve for enough nights that um, we do night. not have a basement. Californians, Californians do not have basements. Andrew actually, Damian just went hunting, so he left. Um, we, Kathy, we have alarms on all our doors, yeah, but he doesn't go outside. Thanks, Leslie. I appreciate that. Jim, I'm never. I'm not done. I mean, I don't do it till late, later at night. You know, towards to go to, to help go to sleep. But that's, that's what it, how do you get any sleep? That ferns help, you know, and I'll sleep for an hour, hour and a half at a time, typically. And, and yes, some, Nordstrom's sometimes, really if I can remember I dreams, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, NYC New Year's, us too, BA. Richard, you know, I, we don't use the pool enough. I do. I thought I would use it much more, but I don't use it as much. You don't use it. His first signs, Allison, were probably in his late 70s. And he's now 91. <laughs> Shout out to Millie Pig. Millie Pig, Millie Pig. She is a Millie Pig. A hungry pig. Um, Paul, a silly pig. If you've noticed in our videos, Grandpa can't hear. So music is not something for him. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it's really, he, he does not hear well. And probably... The different sounds and frequencies and notes and music probably probably doesn't reach it. It's probably a pretty monotone 
thing, like listening to old AM radio or something. So music for him is not a, a real good answer right now. Um, Buttercup, the last time we went on vacation was Tahoe, right? When our friends were here from um, Amy, social I have, media. I have, I have a, a bikini video of Danielle in the pool. Which I've sent to her to put on the Patreon. She has, have you put it on yet? Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I mean, she exercises and stuff and half shirts and stuff. He's an alumni of San Jose State University and McGeorge University of Law. Um, <laughs> it's UOP McGeorge Law School. And I am Sac State Hornets up. She's a Hornet. I'm a Hornet. Fittingly, she's a Hornet. I, I'm singing. Except, you know, Can she's you not the, the Hornet. TV? Lori, no. That stinger stays. Um, he really puts it up. If he has the remote, it's up at like 72. Um, but he reads. I have subtitles. Uh, San Francisco on. State, right up, the, right up the peninsula. Not that far. Yeah. Chico? Uh, Trava Dasab, thank you so much. That I mean, th those comments help. He won't use the headphones. Beatles, Chris, for, uh, between the Stones and the Beatles, Beatles. All your easy alternatives would be easy if you would see you would see them if they worked. Is they that don't. Millie Pig song still Just on the saying. app? I don't know. Mm, no. Uh, Lisa, I, yes, I did have some blonde hair. Not fully blonde, like platinum, but my hair has been lighter. I haven't dyed Steve my hair. Steve Ed did play the trumpet in like one video. Over a year. Mm -hmm. Richard Clark, I've never been to Yosemite, even though it's like an hour and a half away. Angela, Dan's favorite movie is The Christmas Story. My favorite Christmas, Christmas movie. Christmas movie, yeah. yeah, that's what she asked. Uh, with it being like, does it, yes. New Year's resolution, I'll have to yes. get back to you on that, Chris. You know, that's a great question. Do you know what President's Scholarship is? No. I'm. I, Hello I'm in a, Australia. I assume that's something pretty good. We have a lot of animals. We have seven cats. Mindy, the, uh, it was just a, a, a follower that sent a the, the thing from Iowa. Grandpa does have a connection to Iowa, but it's two generations ago. Christmas story. 12 Angry Men is a great movie. He's Absolutely. Right here. What's up, Bob? If you really look, if you really look at both of my kids, they both look like me. Seven dogs? Holy moly guacamole. 12 kids. Oh my gosh. No, Have you been to Europe? On. No. You want yeah, you want to go to bed now? What? You want to go to bed? Yeah. All right. I'm tired. What time Hi, is it? Danielle. Hi, Ed. You doing good? Yep. It's 627. All right, honey. P.S. Oh. You're doing fine. Okay, I'm going to bed. He touched my head. <laughs> that was unique. He touched my head. That does not happen very often. What's that? He touched my head. That was cute. Um, he did. He touched my head. <laughs> that was cute. I haven't had that in a long time. He's never touched my head like that. That was really cute. Sorry. <laughs> Moment. <laughs> it was very sweet. I teared up. Sorry. Damn those onions. Moments like that. Hmm. Sorry. Damn, they get you. <laughs> hmm. caregivers
moments. Sorry. Baby. Sorry. Those moments are everything. <laughs> it's a hard... He did. There it is. It is. Sorry. I hate that. So, as caregivers, <laughs> it's moments like that, you know, that bring you back to reality. He touched my head. And he said, you know, Night, I know, it's horrible. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, that got me. What? What got you? Uh. Was that my, when my dad patted on the head? Is, what, what was it, dear? So it just gets me. the reason that got her is my dad doesn't do that. It, it just doesn't happen. The only person I've ever seen him kiss is my sister. That's it. You know, Carrie, that, and you know, that's it. He's not touchy at all. And so that's why I noticed it when you patted her on the head. That is affection. That's a sign of affection that you just don't see my dad give out. So... And Daniel knows that she's known him for, you know, over 20 years, right? She knows that it's not, that's not my dad. And what he just did was amazing. So that's why it hit her. You're pretty cool. Pretty cool. He did. He, he did. And, you know, that's, that's amazing. Yeah, I'm glad you guys got to see it along with me. That, you know, that's something we'll be talking about for a while. <laughs> Even though it's a little simple gesture, it's just, if you knew my dad, it's just, that means a lot, right? You, that, that says, that speaks volumes. That's an encyclopedia of, of information that he, that he relayed by patting her on the head. I can't replay it, but it'll be recorded on, on Ooh. Ooh. Did it, I hope, did we catch it on YouTube too? Because yeah. that'll be recorded. Yeah, it's, it's, I'm gonna get some water. All right. Woo, that got me. Well, I missed it. So she was, she started bawling after I left. Yeah, the head tap was amazing. You'll be able to see it. All right, right now it's at what? Uh, about, you know, 70 minutes, 70 minutes, 70, 68 minutes into it was the head tap. So if you're looking, someone can, can, Put that in the comments, about 68 minutes, probably one of the best moments we've seen on a live from, from my dad. He does always remember her name. And mine too, you know, he's pretty good at that. Woo, that got me. Uh, West Virginia is just, somebody <laughs> sent this. Um, and it's super comfortable. It's kind of like a half sweatshirt and it's, you know, it's perfect to wear on a, on a chilly evening when you're inside. Somebody, some, somebody sent it, and I love it, so. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> As caregivers, you know, there's very, there's many things that get to you, you know? I mean, I'm sure you have your moments, too, but that was something that was, doesn't happen. Doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It I've never happen. seen that happen. God, that got me. <laughs> Sorry. Woo. And you know, I've told you guys, I haven't, you know, I've been on this verge of this emotional menopausal journey. And I have said that I've been wanting to cry, you know, and I haven't been able to because I haven't had time. Coop McGee, that got me. <laughs> my dad came by and patted Danielle on the head and said, Ugh. thank you, honey, on the way to bed which is something that never happens. It does not happen. It was beautiful. It was nice. 
I'm gonna get some chocolate. What? God damn. Yeah, that was a good one. You can pull that, Danielle, and do a video of it. If you can, if you pull from, from YouTube and you can, um, or you can, you know, from the, from the thing, you can record and make a, and put that on the video. That was, so that was amazing. <laughs> I don't know why the screen is so skinny. I was going to do it the other way, like, you know, um, horizontal instead of vertical, but, but it, it said it, vertical it, recommended. So that was really we'll try cool. it at some point and see if we can do it sideways, but. It's easier. They tell you on YouTube that vertical is the best way for us, I think. For us? You mean it's just recommended. YouTube recommends it. Yeah. That's what I said. Grandpa is in bed. Happy. He was he was smiling when he when he when he mm -hmm. when he was in bed. So he's obviously in a decent mood. Yeah, we're live on both, um, Cyrene. I'm on I'm on my YouTube channel and Danielle's on her TikTok channel. Did you lock the Coda. dog in? No. Is she, she trying to get into yeah, Grandpa's she's room? Trying to get into the it. dog is scratching on Grandpa's door because it wants to get in. Let me just check this out. Yeah. You want to see Grandpa? Here. Sorry. You want to see Grandpa? Um. Hi yeah. guys. Yeah. I know. It's the dog wants to say goodnight to you. Those moments. Um. Are crazy. Uh, cat. Yes, he can. Yeah. Uh, is that more to the money? Oh, Shelby, I'm so sorry. It's hard. Um, Christine, I do, you know, and I, and I see, well, you can rewatch it. Yeah. No, grandpa does not like the dog in his room, but because, uh, the dog, the dog for some reason has been, Ed went into the bathroom and Coco scratched on the door now. So she just wants to say goodbye. It is uh, 6.37 PST on December 1st, 2023. Yeah. Uh, woo! Oscar. Yes, galley girl. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> yeah. Happy Friday, Anna. Uh, why can't grandpa live with y'all? Um, he does, Marley. He's been here for two months. Yeah. Happy Friday. Uh, Grandpa just showed a term of endearment with me that he's never go, done before. Go, he go, grabbed go, my go. head <laughs> um, as he walked by. Yeah. Coco had to go in and jump on Grandpa's bed and give him kisses goodnight. Coco. <laughs> Coco was scratching on his door to get in and say goodnight. And that, that dog is amazing. She, she does the same thing in the morning. She has to see him in the morning and she has to see him at night. But she's been, for some reason, really needing to see him today because the bathroom visits he's had, she scratched on the door and everything else. Thanks, Basil. Uh, the German Shepherd is three. She'll be four in June. No, no more, Brian. He's with us. He's been with us full time for That's two exactly months. That's exactly it, Slim Dan. He wants to go in, say goodbye. He jumped up on the bed, gave him a kiss on the face. Grandpa got pissed. <laughs> Because <laughs> he doesn't like the dog lick him on the face, and then the dog jumped out. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, Christy. Oh, thanks. Yeah, that, you know, little things like that sometimes really get me. Hey, Janbug. I apologize. I'm glad you're watching and enjoying from Idaho. Coco. Um, Chris, because my daughter named her Coda. Yeah. And... Her name, her the dog's name really is Coda. I just call just, I call her Coco. We call her Coco Bean. Coco Cokes the Coco da Bean. <laughs> Coco da Bean. Uh, I know. I just feel bad. I don't like doing that, but that got me. Ooh. Yeah, I'll get to watch Shanna. it. I, I I'll get to watch it again when I when I rewatch it. What did this. he say? I don't remember. He just patted Something my head. Something about honey. He said honey. He said which he doesn't use. No. Uh, Kara, he doesn't go to Mark's right now because he's more feeble and it's much more difficult for Mark to keep an eye on him as one person. I mean, you know, taking a shower, like Mark could be taking a shower and my dad could walk out the door. It's a smaller house. It's easier for grandpa to get out. There's, it, it's a, it's a much, you know, if he gets out, he's real close to main roads and stuff. So uh, it's just more, it's safer right now. We're in a rural, <laughs> rural area. Where Mark's not, he's more in track home development where it's 
more busy and he's gotten lost on his little walks and stuff like that. And so it's just easier and better here. Andrew is, um, he's doing good. Um, he went hunting tonight. Somebody had asked hey, because Andrew. we're such impasse. Does it bother us that Andrew hunts? Um, I am not a, uh, I'm not somebody who would be able to shoot an animal personally. Um, that's just not me, but you know, he grew up with kids <laughs> that do that and it's more, more for him. And we are not, you know, like we don't ride our kids to be just like us. You know, we let them, you know, experience and go their own way and, and, you know, kind of seek out their own path. And so we, I don't, I don't mind it, but I, I would not, I mean, if I went hunting with them, I probably wouldn't shoot. I would probably wouldn't shoot anything. I might get competitive. There's a duck or something and think I can hit that damn duck, but I'm not one that would go out and, and hunt, even though I eat meat. Um, but I, it doesn't bother me that Danielle, that uh, Andrew does it. <laughs> I just I, wouldn't do it myself. I could never. And I honestly didn't believe Andrew could do it either. And I think he did have a hard time with it, but. He bit the head off an uh, animal. I don't remember what it was, a duck. It was a duck. Yeah, the first one he got, he, you have to bite the head off or something. He did that. That's not me, but. Yeah, you have to shoot the head off. He did. I couldn't do it. He did have a problem. He had trouble with it. I said, bruh. And um, he did say that. Hi, Sharon. God, that got me. What? And Danielle's parents are both passed. And they both passed within like a couple years of each other too. Yeah, he did an Aussie. He did an What's Aussie. my favorite animal? Uh, you know, Baxter. Uh, Jamie, maybe, close. you know, closely followed by a couple of the cats. I love the pig. I love them all, but I mean, my, like my dog is Baxter. I did, Christine. God, that killed me. That got me. Damn it. <laughs> Andrew's our third son, our, a third child. Yeah, he's a, he's a, he's a kid, Whew. our youngest. Hey, Jordan. How you doing at NYC? Kath, Andrew's our son, obviously our, our youngest son. He's 19. Hi, in Romania. Do I like cats or dogs more? Um, I love them both. I really do. It would depend on the animal. Like I have a couple of cats, like the kitty and Bart, that are just my cats, and Baxter's my dog. So I mean, I, you know, they, they all right. sleep in my bed. I like them. Which sibling is most like dad? My oldest brother Dave is most like my dad. Oh, thanks, Rob. Team dog. Ronnie, Grandpa is in bed. He he went about ten minutes ago. Um, Ed and I's relationship is much different now than it was before. Yeah. Um, he never showed moments of endearment like that, like he does um, now when he did previous. Like in that. But he didn't show moments of endearment really to anybody. I mean, that, he just wasn't like that. He, you know, he he shows it in his actions and his words, but he's not. Come here, give me a hug or give me a kiss. He's that's not my dad. He, his words are always there, and the you know the care and the love has always been there, but not the physical manifestation of it. That is that was why that was so um, shocking today to see it and hear it and heartwarming. He does it with his daughter. He does it with my with my sister. That's about it. And his granddaughters sometimes, sometimes his granddaughters. So that might be why Daniel a little choked up. Not, but not like that. Not like that. That that fucked me up. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Um. Yeah, TJ. Alicia, no, they weren't any. They weren't particularly close before dementia. You know, my dad. He moved in. He's lived with us for two years. So you obviously you build stronger connections. My connection to my dad is much, much stronger now than it was before he had dementia because he's living here. And I've told you I've been, <laughs> I've told you I've been suffering with my emotions lately and that put me over the edge. <laughs> Frick. Whew. 
Uh, and for the people that weren't in, oh, my dad so came sorry. over and on his way to bed and patted Danielle on the back of the head and said something like, good night, honey. Or I hope you're doing all right. And touched her, which is not on my head. totally unusual for my dad. Totally unusual. I'm not sure I understand. Because I'm not talking to you. So I'm in a moment. Um, Jordan, I'd love to take a vacation to Jamaica. Yeah. Anyhow, sorry. Juanita, he's not taking, thank you for, for that gift. He, uh, he's not taking meds directly for, for dementia. He, he's taking indirectly for dementia because he has no, vascular sure dementia. So the medication he takes for his heart also helps prevent future strokes, which will keep him stable and slow the progression. No, Ed wasn't a hugger, ever. Um, he, he wouldn't even hug his daughter his sister, he would kiss her. You know, they would kiss. Kiss her on the cheek. Yeah, and the grandkids. Yeah, but... he's not never a hugger. Never been a hugger. How old was I? I my mom booted me. <laughs> my mom booted me out when I was eighteen. I brought a girl home. That's Teresa. I mean, I graduated from high school at seventeen, and you know, like I don't know, a year later or so, I. I brought some girl home. My mom got pissed, and I was Dan's out of the house a, the next Dan's morning. Dan's not a hooker. <sighs> Elon, I don't believe Elon has technology for dementia. I don't know what the neural link is. Um, uh, I know. I mean, I really believe I import. I, I am important to him in a lot of ways. Yeah. Uh, do I feel bad? I'm just, it makes you feel guilty a little bit. Um, you know, because we're human and, uh, it makes you feel guilty, you know, those moments of when I was when frustrated you were yelling with at him, him earlier and now you feel guilty. Yeah. Angry and he does something like that. The pig's it, right outside in her in her bed. She's got a, a, like 18 blankets and she's yeah. bundled up in her blankets about 10 feet from where we are. Yeah. Uh, I, I have to go with, with Dave in his prime, but now I'd prefer to, to see Sam. If, if, if I was gonna see Van Halen today, I'd rather, I, I saw with, with Dave. Yes, Josh is the youngest. Like, I don't know, yeah. eight years ago and it wasn't good. He wasn't good. Dave's past his prime. No offense, Dave, but you're a little past your prime. And that way, you still got, you know, everything else. I'm sure you're fine. Why is Grandpa with us full time? Because he's more needy now. He's getting more frail. And it just, with two of us, it's better than just one person. Yeah. You a baseball fan, Dan? Are you a baseball fan? Giants? I'm a giant fan, yeah. Mm -hmm. Dave and Sammy are getting together? You gotta be kidding me. That, I'd watch that. What's that mean? That means, I don't know, David Lee Roth and Sammy Hagar are gonna Shut the tour front together. Door. Shut I mean, the that would be door. really cool. I would definitely go see that. Thanks, P.S. <laughs> Mr. Gilmore was a World War II vet, born in 1919. Well, McGarvey, Amy McGarvey, um, you've got you got a good tribute out to your dad tonight, or your grandpa, whoever that was, born in 1919 and World War II vet. Sammy said it's not happening. It's a rumor. Um, Jane, what's for dinner? I made dinner because I thought Andrew was going to eat before, but he went out and bought some tacos. Aaron, we, we have we get we get magical cures all the time. From magnesium pills to this to that, the other thing, I, I if, if my doctor tells me that, then I'm gonna my eyes will peak up. When I hear something over the internet, it kind of take take it with a grain of salt. I got a bald head, Jordan. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's just the way it is. Can I didn't pick that? it. No, I was born. It's all <laughs> thick hair. Uh. Uh, you know, medium hair, bald. Oh, I think I'll pick Would bald. you have chosen hair? I would have chosen a big fucking thick mane of hair. Are you <laughs> kidding me? I wish I had so much. I wish I could have hair down to my my uh, the back of my knees. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, Shauna, I'm, I'm not surprised that, that there's some bad, some ill will between Sammy and Dave. The internet is undefeated. Uh, I have... Lori seven. Mark is just as loving. We're just different people. We're just different. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, you can't judge Mark on, you know, the way he talks. You have to judge him on his actions. You know, Mark took Ad and Grandpa for six months before we stepped in and started splitting. You know, Grandpa, granted, he was not, you know, the way he is now, but Mark took him in. He, he was there, he took him up. And the only reason we're, we have Grandpa now is because he became too difficult for one person to take care of. And, you know, but Mark stood, stood up when he had to. Where is Keys? Hello in Miami. Thank you, Brittany. Woo. <laughs> Jake, I mean that that's that make that that really makes me happy. Anytime I hear somebody is considering or gonna take care of their parents because of this channel, that's life changing for somebody, right? For somebody who might have a different end of life experience, that's a really positive oh, thing for, for you to comment. I appreciate it. How you doing, Rancho Cordova? <sighs> Amy. Nora. Jackie. Mark's like eight years older than me. Is he 65? Uh, yeah, he's got he's on Medicare, so just qualified, so he must be 65. First signs of dementia. Thanks, Tara. He he do you wanna talk about that? What? I'm first really signs of dementia? I'm having trouble now. <laughs> Well, <laughs> first signs of dementia were, you know, things like, uh, you know, making a wrong turn on a we highway where he knows him. where to go. We would follow him when he left our house. So obviously they weren't the first signs because I knew I had to follow him. Um, you know, Zach told me the other day that, you know, he went after one Thanksgiving, back when Grandpa was living on his own and Zach had traveled out and stayed at grandpa's house because it was an open room and grandpa was up in the morning watching chinese tv with no <laughs> subtitles and you know what blaring in chinese and zach's like what the hell are you doing and it was oh, it's interesting those those were really early signs of dementia that nobody really picked up on you know zach didn't know and and, and grandpa gave him applesauce on his salad you know things like that and you know zach didn't realize that it was dementia but those were the first signs yeah, Mark was in a mudslide. That's absolutely true. Shit, this is going so fast. Rip castor oil on my head. Those were those early signs okay. were twelve, <laughs> even maybe fifteen years ago. The earliest signs. Grandpa went to bed crappy. Kila, crappy Kila. Uh, Grandpa went to bed about uh, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. Uh, so yeah, you're taking care of your mom for four years. I'm so glad that the videos can help. I know what you're going through. I know how difficult it is. It is difficult and kudos to you for, for doing that for four years. It's really an amazing thing, you know, and I hope your I hope your family is happy. Your siblings are proud of you if you have any. Lori, it is really difficult to see the 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 progression of the illness and the deterioration, both physically and mentally, is not easy. You know, it's kind of the opposite of watching your kids grow up and they get stronger and louder and smarter and more confident and you know better and you know, when you're, when you're old, it's the opposite. You just keep going and going and going until you finally are not here anymore. Mark was in a mudslide on I-5, Judy. Um, again, this is, this is more like 50 years ago or 48 years ago. Um, he was in a mudslide, almost took his life, took him with an inch of his life uh, in he, a six month recovery. I mean, he had wounds all over his body, horrible wounds. He's gone through an, an you know, incredible pain in dealing with that, infections and different things. I mean, I remember the smell. My mom nursed Mark back for like six months. You know, I remember the pee, I remember draining his pee container, right? He had a pee container 
and I was a little kid and I, and you know, so my mom, I'd have to take his pee container and pour it in the toilet. And he had satin sheets or silk sheets because the, his wounds wouldn't stick to them. And I remember yeah, the I smell. Thought, yeah. Up the I great, remember up that the, smell. Up the grapevine, of, right? of the Of the healing wounds, you know, scabbing and scars and whatever ointments were there. It was horrific for a long time. You can almost not tell. I mean, unless you got to the point where he had some serious wounds, you can't tell that he was in it. But yeah, that was a really uh, emotional time for my family. And my mom and dad were still married. They, I remember them fly. I remember, I remember that really well. Is there ever a time when Ed remembers things that he usually doesn't? Sometimes. The grapevine is horrible. And every time I drive over that, I think about that. to them. L.A. It was southbound on the grapevine. South? Yeah, he was traveling He was driving to San Diego is where he was going. Um, where was In the middle the, of a huge rainstorm. Yeah. W uh, what year? Do you remember? I, I don't remember. I was young, like eight. No, so again, I haven't heard like, Van Morrison's daughter sing. No. Uh, no, his mom I don't does remember not show the year, any but signs of dementia. She's a beast. Man. He was in the car with a guy named, it was his friend, Don Herrick. And it was Don Herrick's mom that came to our house that let us know at five in the morning. She's pounding on the door and I hear this screaming. You know, I'm eight and I heard it's just ungodly screaming. And she was I screaming thought, to my mom. Yeah. They look good, they haven't, they haven't found me. She was just screaming. Uh, and because obviously Don had called his mom. Was there a PI claim? I don't, I was eight, dude. I don't know. I don't, there was not a PI claim because who's, who are we going to sue? God? It was a, it was a, a mudslide. It was a mudslide and I five. Hi, Made the papers and all that stuff. There's a cutout. Yeah. I think your got, mom has the cutout. My mom has the cutout. You know, that was a horrible, horrible thing. I appreciate, thank you so much for the follows. A quick follow on YouTube would be appreciated too for anybody who's not following. Oh, I know, Abby, it's killed me. I've needed an excuse to cry, and that just gave it to me. <laughs> Does the, the switch uh, make him less confused? I think by the time, you know, we, we had switched so much, he wasn't really too confused by the switch Thanks, because he might be for the first 15 minutes, but his, his reflex memory would kick in. You know, like he'd come here after being at Mark's for three days. He'd still know instinctively where to go to get milk out of the fridge it. or a bowl of cereal. You know, he remembered things, you just maybe not as easily as we do. I'm still holding back because I could sit and cry for a minute. It is December 1st, 2023. Ruffles and onion dip are at awesome. 6 57 Amanda. p.m. PST. Yes, it is what? Friday? Yeah. Yeah. The Friday. First, the first December 1st, December. 2023. Oh, we're back. We froze for a second. Ugh. Athena. Not what I like to show. Uh, is he still Thanks, confused? Thanks, Stephen. I appreciate that. But putting that in the comments helps too. Cheryl, he's still confused. It doesn't matter. Um, do you think he's less confused being here for two months? I mean, he's going to continue to progress. And, yeah. and again, you know, I'm, I judge things not from when he was at Mark's, but from the day of the fall. That was, a, you know, kind of a big deal. And we're still, I'm hopefully he comes 100% back from that fall. Can we leave? Yeah, that Lost alone? Hills. No. Yeah. Judy, that that the, that's the right same area. What? Are you tired? Thanks, Karen. I appreciate it. No, I'm just still in my feels. Uh, Dan's profession is an attorney. Was. Is. I mean, you're still an attorney. Well, I, I just don't work anymore. Um, well, then I put up the video of it. I would have to <laughs> know enough yeah. Trevor to like video record and do that. You know, it is what it is. Um, pretty unlucky. Yes. Oh, Lori, I'm sorry. Mm. Lori, I'm sorry. That's really hard. I could not imagine losing Dan and then not having my kids. God, that would kill me. I can't, Kay. Um, never been to Louisiana. No. So Brett, Coco sleeps with me. Baxter sometimes sleeps with me as well. Sometimes I have two dogs on my bed. Um, no, grandpa wouldn't like it. Uh, show pictures of Uncle Bull. Maybe I'll put one up. Seth, I don't know. I thought it was going to be Thursday. Mm. Yes, Gina, there is a, yes. CH, what is your advice? What do you need? 
You what I got wrong? I went to your email. Last night you gave me your email. This is what we have over here. Hi, Maxie. Hi, Coco. That makes me happy. Said a little words of endearment, and that just got me. Yeah, it was really sweet. Very sweet. You can watch it. Um, do you ever let Grandpa know about having a relationship with Jesus? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus or Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you too. Love from the Philippines. Uh, uh, Dan and I, you're wearing the same jammies. You have the Grinch on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they're, they're, I did. I, that, I wore them last scale. night and I wore them again today. It's horrible. <laughs> what? I just reach in and grab whatever's there and boom. Mm -mm. Um, as far as religion, we don't discuss religion or politics <laughs> on this channel. Um, neither. I don't fry or I'm not hammered. I'm emotional. Lisa, sorry that I disappoint you. Um, yes, I've decorated as much as I want to decorate. Why did he retire so early? Um, you know, he's had a lot of bad experiences in the law. And I think this is a happy time for us where we can both be home. We could care for his father and we could support our family. Yeah. Um, the reason I retired was because <laughs> I had a heart attack and I decided that I didn't want to die, you know, in, in front of a jury. Um, it's law was very stressful for me. I take, I take it seriously. I, I, I empathize with my clients. I connect with my clients. So it's an emotional roller coaster and you know, I, I took it very seriously, the impact on people's lives and that can kind of catch up with you. you. And, um, you know, the day before my heart attack, I had one of the most important Family is arguments to somebody's life was on the line the next day, you know, years in prison based on what I said. And the stress became a lot, right? If you care, it's stressful. So um, I decided, and, and, and I had, you know, I had a partner that screwed, you know, screwed me over. Just, I, I just decided it wasn't the way I wanted to live out my life. So that's why I said, you know, I'm gonna forego a, a big, income big salary um for Thanks, for lifestyle and for you know ch what do you to mean? live a real life and it seems to have worked out pretty well we're doing yeah. okay you know i mean we're doing it so that's all that court, I, I called the court the next day and we delayed the hearing for like three weeks i went back and i made the best argument of my life that's and got true. the guy the Thank minimum you. sentence he could get so that was a good it was a good you know way to say all right that's I, i've reached my pinnacle i'm going to start moving on and it just happened, right? Um, Dan started Stress during, kills, absolutely. Dan started this journey um, trying to put his <laughs> poems Thanks. out there during the pandemic. I appreciate that. During the pandemic. And um, then he started videoing his dad just on a fluke. And here we are. Here we are. Here we are. Um, I hit the big wall of cheese. So yeah, it's, you know, it's, a, it's a good reason to take cheese your curds. parent in. You know, you get rewarded. Shana, You'll become Shana, Shana, the doggy. Um, Miller pig, Miller pig, you are a Miller pig, a hungry pig. Dan, what advice a would you give to a twenty-five-year-old? To what? A twenty-five-year-old. Enjoy life. Yeah. Enjoy your life. It goes by it's so fast. Quick. Bobby, That's what you. I would say. Thank you. I mean, you know, here's the thing is that hey, in Oregon, life is a journey. Um, you don't have any, there's no, there's no plans. You know, what, what are the blueprints for what's going to happen right in life? Um, and you just go with the flow. I love my husband and I'll do anything for him. And <laughs> we end up with a pig. She brought a pig home. I'm trying to be like, oh sentimental here and right. you just interrupt me. Well, I'm just answering a question over here. Do you don't, never mind. Dan doesn't want to hear it. I don't even know what you were talking about. You learn. Yeah. You learn as you go. And you know, love and family is really all at the end of the day that you have. It's all about family, right? 
that's what's that's that's the end all for everything is you know enjoy your family enjoy your life be healthy you know help your help your family members out when you can that's where that's where pleasure comes from life <laughs> damn manly pig manly never mind <laughs> Sometimes he frustrates you. Me too, it's Queen Bee. <laughs> you know we fix on? <laughs> Thank you guys for understanding what I'm trying to say. Um, it is stressful, you know? I mean, and that's the thing is that, you know, despite everything we post, you know, at the, the end of the day, it's love and it's family and it's... That's what our channel's about. It's, a, it's, it's about family and living and life. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect with each other. But there's always a bond there yeah, with family that is, you know, stronger than anything else. And that's just, you know, that's my dad's philosophy. Mm -hmm. Dos or Togos, both, Chris. We love them both. That's Dose. my dad's philosophy, Dose. and he's passed it along. Yeah. Um, and my parents as well. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, Dan is a lover um, but in his own way. <laughs> How are you doing down in San Diego? <laughs> Brittany, I would be so sad. I couldn't imagine. Um, I already struggle with Hannah being in San Diego. Um, I couldn't imagine being divided by an ocean. Yeah. Um, <laughs> considering going live, be prepared for the anger, the hatred, and the bullying and so harassment. Going, someone's going live? <laughs> yeah. Be prepared. You have to be, have tough skin. <sighs> uh, so my, my sister helps out with my mom on a regular basis. Like, you know, and that to me is just like helping out my dad because uh, from my, from, on my stress and my mind, I worry about my mom equally. So the fact that my sister is there and her daughter Lily is there with my mom is such a relief to me. And it, it is the same as coming here and taking care of my dad. I would die. If she's taking care of my mom, in my mind, that is equal. It takes that pressure off me. Yes. So my sister contributes as much as, as, as I do, as much as Mark does for, for real. Jose, when I went, we went to San Marcos where Hannah was. Um, she's not in San Marcos anymore, but I do have to go and visit her because she moved and I need to see her. Uh, does an MRI tell you if you have dementia? I don't really know. I, I don't, about that. there's, there's different ways that they, there's some things they can see, some things they can't, but go, I, I, I'm not an expert enough to give that to even, even comment on that. I don't, I don't want to mislead anybody. So talk to your doctor. That's the best, that's the best way to go. My dad would like to go to New Zealand on vacation. Uh, Australia. Or so Australia. So somebody somebody that. had given us some Australia napkins and he, I gave it to him to use them. Excuse me. And um, he had it, he took the napkin and put it up. This was last night. And he said, Daniel, have you ever been to Australia? And I said, no. Um, and he said, um, God, it's one place I would love to go. And he said that. And that's, the Thanks, truth. Virgil. That's the truth. What? Uh, Australia. Yeah. He did want to go. He's never been there. Yeah, he's never been there. Um, how did you initially handle his diagnosis? He's never been, Goldie, he's never been formally we, diagnosed. We handled it by moving him into Mark's house. Like, we, we diagnosed Thanks, him when he fell and Thanks, was hurt and had a bruise and couldn't explain where he got it. That was all the diagnosis we need, and he moved into my brother's house that day. That's the way, that's how fast it went. I don't recommend that. I recommend, you know, preparing and, and, you know, having family meetings. If you have siblings, talk to them and having a plan and all that stuff. But for us, it just was happened quick. And that was the end of it. Very quick. Very quick. Hi, Eileen. Hi, Gail. Um, okay, so he does, Taz. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know how. And I don't know why, but he doesn't ever really remember. Grandpa does not remember selling his Never house. Never forgets me. The bruise can't remember. Um, <laughs> right, Tracy, the bruises. Um, but when he was falling and Mark would go and pick him up for lunch every day when he was still living alone, 
And he would call Dan and he said, Grandpa fell again. Obviously, there was that started becoming. And I an remember, issue. you know, like when he was living on his own and it was really hot that I was worried because my dad doesn't like the, the air, conditioner, air conditioner. So, I mean, there was, there was a lot of stuff, but. And now he complains because it's too cold. Or well, too now we, hot. I dress him up, really. <laughs> what they, makes my dad the happiest? Family. That's that's what does. His little his, his little grandkids make him the happiest. Mm. Oh, Melissa, I'm sorry. That's hard. HB, the, the she came to California. Her mom brought her to California. My mom did. Is that tuna fish sandwich his favorite? <laughs> yeah, tuna fish is his favorite. His favorite kind of sandwich. That's what we get him. I mean, he used to eat at Togo's egg salad, but they discontinued it. So They did? Yeah, they don't sell egg salad anymore. They don't? That's why I told you today when I saw the cardboard eggs. I'm like, you know, he likes egg salad. You could make him an egg but salad. But you didn't say. You just said, you just walked in randomly and it was like, my dad likes egg salad. Well, that, I was like, what the hell But that that's mean? why I was saying. He used to eat that at Togo's too. He gets bruises all the time. And he does bruise and he scratch is on, himself. He is on blood thinners. He's going to bruise very easily. So he easily. bruises, yeah. Susan, I I can't get, I'm too old to get plowed. I had my two beers and that's about it. I'll visit some ferns later on before I go to bed and that's about it. How many grandbabies does he have? I think 11-ish. Let's see, let me think. I love chips. Aaron, Max, Zach, Miriam, Lily, Jennifer, Hannah, Andrew, Delaney, Wesley, Dylan. 11. 11. She's got 11. I love Togo's too, Judy. This <laughs> burns. Uh, Dan drinks coffee. Ed drinks coffee. Yes, my dad black. loves coffee. Black coffee. We both drink black coffee. Every day is a brand new day. Yes. Um, did, did my dad spend a lot of time with me when I was young? Um, I mean, I remember... When I was young, he'd drag me around to the airport and, and to look at RVs and just he'd, he'd drive around or take me on a, a walk, like a, you know, 5,000 mile walk. So that, that, that's what I remember. My parents divorced young and I didn't, you know, I did not see my dad a lot because, you know, I lived with my mom who was, then she, first she went to college, then she, then she went to grad school, then she got a job. I mean, she was living her life and I was trying to, you know, they divorced like when I was in middle middle school, and so I then in high school I was trying to find my way. And Thanks, Les. It's just we, you know. So kind of became anybody really self, wants self to know where to send Grandpa gifts, Leslie, just can you pin that, Les? Yeah, just my office. Um, as far as today is the first of December, twenty twenty three, at seven thirteen PST. And you should be on D Cell NorCal. What or Mrs. D Cell NorCal? Well, YouTube is D Cell NorCal fourteen thirty four. Um, TikTok is Mrs. D. Sal NorCal three. Her his career. Her, your mom was a. I think my mom. She 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 did she did she helped people. She was a psychologist and she worked as a victim witness advocate. Meaning, if you were the victim of a crime, sex crime, violent crime, and they were prosecuting the the perpetrator, my mom would be the one who would sit with you before you had to go into court. Sometimes, if you were young, she they'd let her sit in court with the with the victims as they testified. She would help them deal, you know, go to their house and help them deal with the stress and post-traumatic stress syndrome and help them get set up with counseling and help them get over a lot of issues that impact victims. So that's what my mom spent her life doing is helping people who were victims. That was her job. And she, her, her, job, her office was right next to the district attorney in Santa Clara County. That's what she did. She helped a lot of people, including she. She was on the Polly Class case, if you remember. Um, she she was? was the yeah. She was the victim advocate for Mark Class. They had that was that something that happened that in Sonoma, true? but they changed venue to get a fair trial and it moved to Santa Clara County. And my mom worked with the Class family long before Mark Class became famous. She worked with them with as victims of a horrific crime. What was her office name? Uh, it's uh, Victim Witness Assistance is what it's oh, called. thanks, Tim. Victim Witness Why Assistance. Why do you guys consider turning these Friday Lives into a more structured weekly podcast? Maybe. I mean, but, you know, Science. these are both not only just to get out on social media, but it's kind of like our, we're stuck here, right? 
And so what are we going to do on a, on a Friday night? And we found that we can kill a couple birds once now. We can get on here and talk to all of you. And it's entertaining for us. I hope it's entertaining for you. We have a good time doing it. Um, and so that's kind of what we do. If, you know, if my dad passed or something and we were, you know, things might change quite a bit. Maybe my parents are both deceased. I think Derek Chauvin got a fair trial. I mean, he's had a number of trials now and he's pled guilty some, to some other things. But Thanks, Sharon. Thanks, Becky. That's cool. Um, it is, uh, it's getting about that time. Are you tired? I'm, I'm starving. So it's Friday, guys. So uh, we'll jump back on on Monday, if, if if she's gone during the week and my dad's doing really well, I'm gonna try and jump on for a, a quick live, even if it's only half an hour with just me and my dad, anytime that he's really doing well. I don't know if that'll happen this weekend, but if you happen to see a live, that's probably what it is when my dad's doing super well. I'm gonna take advantage of that opportunity because I don't know how much more we're gonna have to get him on lives and he has a really good and people ask questions and it, it turns out to be a really good time. So um, that may happen this weekend if he's up to it. Thanks and if saying. not, we'll be back on Monday. Yep, I'll be on in the morning. Danielle's always on 24-7. I'm all on. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for coming Love here. You Thanks guys. for the, for the thank gifts. Thank you. I Thanks appreciate you. Thanks for watching. You. We appreciate you. Thank and you, you guys so much. Have a great Friday and have a great weekend if we don't see you.